All right, today we're talking the Topo Athletic Ultra Fly 4. This is my go-to daily trainer right now. I think I've run about 50 miles in these so far. A couple of specs, so we have 28 millimeter stack height in the heel, 23 in the toe for a total of five millimeter drop. And what I really like about some of these brands, especially Topo right now, is they're putting the drop on the shoe itself. So it's right here on the heel, that's great. The mesh upper is it's nice, it's breathable. We are featuring a wide toe box, which is one of the one of my favorite features of this shoe. Couple that with some toe socks, and your feet can really sp spread out um, in this shoe and give you some extra stability. Personally, I have uh, sprained my ankle many times over the years, and Having that extra stability because of being able to spread my toes out really helps out. Also, lower stack height helps me out there as well. So this is Topo's own zip foam for the midsole. It's a firm ride. So if you're looking for something very plush, one, it's a low stack height, and two, it's somewhat firm. It's not as soft as other foams, I think, which is something I'm going for, something I like. The color on the shoe is... It's fun, it's loud. I, I'm not a big fan of Topo's color schemes, personally. I feel like they could do a little bit better, but they are getting a little creative. They had some more unique colors. This red is, yeah, it's highlighter red almost. It's very loud, but it's still pretty fun to wear. One of the reasons I was, what I was looking for in this shoe is I am currently on a uh, minimalist barefoot shoe journey and started out with uh, Viva Barefoots and I got some the Ultra Torin 7s um, and started to try and transition into uh, uh, zero drop shoes and my calves tightened up I got plantar fasciitis so in a state of panic I'm currently training for a, a full marathon in April for the, the national marathon and I did a uh, half in October and got all excited, learned about some more of the sh running shoe specs, learned about zero drop, and did too much too soon, and my calves locked up. I, I broke down and just had to take the torrents back. Every single time I ran in them, whether it was a short run or a long run, I was even cycling through sho shoes on different loops, my calves just locked up and I'd be out for a week or two. In a state of panic, I found, I was looking at Topo. What really attracts me to Topo is still, they're sticking to the wide toe box mantra. Low drop, this is a, so it's not zero, so it's a swing back to where I was wearing the Brooks, Brooks Trace 2s, which I ran the half in, and those are 12 millimeter drop shoes. No foot, no foot problems in those. It's really a lot of my recent injuries and shoe f foot woes have, have been in response to my current journey into more natural footwear. It takes time. This is also a mild, or I think what Topo calls a light stability shoe. So there is some extra rigid pl plastic here at the heel to help with light pronation. I do have some pronation going on in my right foot. Uh, a little bit of maybe a little bit of arch, arch collapse i'm not really sure because of the barefoot transition right now i'm seeking out a little bit of extra support but if you're not into stability shoes this is the light kind of stability topo has i think the fly light would be very similar daily trainer to this equivalent shoe but in, in a neutral form yeah the heel there's no real heel bevel here which i really like this allows me to wear this to Orange Theory. So I go to Orange Theory as well. And with shoes with big heel bevels, they don't fit into the rowers that well. And I can't stand that. So I want to be able to get strapped in the rower properly with my heel. Yeah, this has been my go-to daily trainer for a while. Really pleased with this shoe. Really excited about this brand. I got this shoe on clearance because this... Ultrafly 4 is actually going away 
soon. I got, an, I think, $80 at REI, which was a great deal. This year, 2024, they're going to bring out the Ultrafly 5 as well. They're going to be very similar to this line. Probably looks like some updated colors. But they did add some extra, from what I can tell, a few millimeters of stack height on the in the heel and the toe just to keep the five millimeter drop at a little extra cushion. So it does seem like Topo is moving towards a little bit more extra, extra stack height to appeal to the masses a little bit more. That seems to be a trend of more modern shoes as we just escalate up with, with increased stack height. I don't like extra a lot of stack height because I feel like my ankles are made of glass. They're getting stronger because of the barefoot shoes. But I have rolled my ankles in high stack shoes before and I just always feel unstable with the extra stack height. Yeah, so I'm really excited about uh, a lot of the to a lot of Topo shoes. I feel like they have shoes for pretty much everybody at this point. I have the Cyclone 2s coming, uh, I think, Tuesday. I'm doing the Nashville Hot Chocolate 15K in February. So I think I'm going to run that race in those shoes. Uh, so I'm really excited about getting the Cyclone 2s in. And I'm really excited about the ST5s. The ST5s are a minimalist, like a gym trainer shoe. I really want to try those out. Even the Spectre 2 looks great. Those are bringing in the PBAX foam. Yes, yeah, so really cool stuff with, with Topo. Check them out. Uh, I believe everyone should be in wide toe box shoes if possible. I don't really know how to go downhill in these as well yet. That is something I'm trying to figure out. Um, I got spooked from my run in the Torrens. Uh, I ran at per Percy Warner Park here in Nashville in the Torrens 7s. And besides the plantar fasciitis taking me out of out of my training for about two weeks, I've definitely had some, some knee issues, for, I think from going downhill. Also doing a lot of work on my running form. So just trying to just work on my mechanics more, pay more attention to how I'm running. I've done a little bit of gait analysis, probably going to do some more. Yeah, so currently training for a full, currently wearing the Ultrafly 4s, which I'm really enjoying. I feel like they're going to be hitting the sweet spot up to at least nine miles um, on a daily trainer. Not really sure after that. We're going to find out. And yeah, give Topo a shot. Check them out. See what, they, see what all they have. And I will keep on training. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.